This is a tamarack tree. That's what this swamp pond is surrounded by. And they're soft needles and they fall off. Makes the water real stained brown. But they're beautiful trees. Yeah, big tamarack tree. Let's hope there's big bowfin in the tamarack swamp lake. If you ever hear a start of a video where I'm in my kayak and breathing hard, it's because I'm dragging this. This sucks, look, I ripped the handle off. So this is really hard now on my hands. Gotta like pull this thing with just a rope. My hands are not happy about it, but what am I gonna do? You ever wonder why I get holes in my waders? This is it, bushwhacking to the extreme. You lead with your fishing rods. If you're wondering how you do this, you lead with your fishing rods. And you use your body as a bulldozer. And then you might make it. Uh, welcome to the bog. Watch as I step, stuff bounces. It literally bounces. It's because this is like spongy earth. Let's start over here. Just go until you get to a point where you think you won't stand, but your kayak will. And that's when you stop. There we go. See a baby bass. That's all we need. Well, I do need the bass part, but bowfin. We are after bowfin. That is the number one goal today. Welcome to the second outing on this rough fish multi species fishing challenge. I have five fish after my first outing, and I am after one specific fish today, but six that are possibilities that I haven't caught here. The number one target is bowfin. Hands down bowfin. That's what's in here that isn't in a lot of the places that I fish. There's also largemouth bass, northern pike, black crappie, bluegill, and pumpkin seed. Yellow perch are also in here, but I got that point yesterday, so I don't need it. So I have two things that can get me a bite of bowfin. I've got a hula popper and then a Z-man frogs. They're both good for pike and bass, but bowfin is what I want. There's stuff over there. I've caught pike and bass with this before, but not a bowfin. I've had bowfin blow-ups, but no, no bite on a bowfin that I've landed top water. It's a little deeper, yeah, right here. There we go. We got a bass right away. Well, a good bass too. Is it a good bass? Ugh, come on. Yes, bass, yes. Right away, yes. Good bass too. Woo, yes. Right away, yes sir. Let's get that bass point. There we go, nice. All right, put my button on <laughs> this. So, oh, it fell off. Oh, I could do 0.5. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you, phone, for 0.5. Let's go. <laughs> yes! All right, all right. We are starting off hot. I saw that coming. Ah! Don't know what that was, but he's off. Oh! 
Oh, where are you? <sighs> oh, you're a bass. Ah, <laughs> darn. Thought you were a big bowfin for a second. Darn. All right. Oh, mess he got. Well, that was cool. I'm not a bowfin. I'm dinking around too much. I need to rack up points. I need to get the panfish points. Crappie, bluegill, pumpkin seed. And then I'll just keep one of those because I'm not getting the bowfin blow-ups. And, you know, put out some cut bait. So let's, let's get at it. There we go. All right, we got the bluegill point right there, baby. There it is, bluegill, got it. And we're keeping this one, it's not big. This will be perfect. Nice, gotta get out the old phone. All right, got it. All right, we're keeping you, buddy. Oh no, <laughs> I guess not. I guess that guy escaped. <laughs> oh, oh, darn, that was pulling, whatever that was. He didn't like me. There we go. Yes, crappie, yes. Yes, sir. Crappie, yes, I needed that one. Ugh. Hey, 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 got it. All right, crappie, yes. Needed that point, needed that point. I'm not gonna keep this guy. I'll let him go. There you go, buddy. Ugh. All right. All right, all right. Pumpkin seeds, only one I need left. All oh, these panfish today. Yeah, stay out of that. Oh, bluegill, all right, we're keeping this guy. All right, we got bluegill, we're keeping him. All right, yeah, you stay right there and we're gonna put you out. All right, I got the setup for the bowfin. I cut a chunk of that bluegill, and now I have a bobber circle hook, and I'm just gonna throw it out there and wait for something to take it. I still have to catch a pumpkin seed, so I'm in a good spot. I'll just kind of hang here Try and catch panfish. Jeez. Don't hurt me, buddy. And wait, watch that. Now pike will take that too. And I don't have a pike, so. We got a wire leader. We got toothy creatures we're dealing with. So, you know. We'll see what happens right here, boys and girls. I saw that. Oh, nice crappie. Heck yeah. Nice. Oh, I like that too. Heck yeah. We already got a crappie, but man, are you beautiful. Gosh, you're pretty. I gotta use my other phone to show this off. How pretty this fish is in the light. Look at how beautiful that crappie is. Just gorgeous. Oh, I hope something bites my other thing while I got that. All right, let's let you go, buddy. So pretty. Things were going well, but there was a point in this day where I had to try and make some decisions on what I was going to do. I thought I could land a pumpkin seed while float fishing with that cut bait for the bowfin. It didn't work. I was catching bluegill like nonstop and then the occasional crappie, but no pumpkin seed. Then I thought, well, let's shift gears. Maybe I can catch a northern pike. That didn't work either. Finally, 
because I wasn't getting a bite on the bowfin, I went back to the original strategy of casting into the shallows looking for a blow up. And then I could use that cut bait to drop, I guess, on the head of the bowfin and then wait and hope that it would take the cut bait. So let's get to that point in the video. That's it. Oh, that's it. That's the bowfin. That's it. That's it. It's there. There. Okay. And then we're gonna go over there. I'm pretty sure there's a bowfin over there. You see all that action over there? I think that's a bowfin. I had a bite over there and it got off and I left my bobber with cut bait over there in the hopes that he'll find it and yeah, eat that and then I have a chance at a bowfin. Let's see, I'm standing on this old decrepit dock that I don't know, it's half in the water. Half not. I mean, look at that. There's all kinds of stuff going on over there. Uh, yeah, come on, Bowfin. You can do it. Bite, bite, bite. All right, it just went under. See it? I got the drag set loose. So let's, let's hope he takes it, takes it. But once I set the hook, I get really real hard. You ready? He's on. I don't think he's on anymore. Shoot. Huh. I guess I gotta get in and go over there. I still feel a tug here and there, but I don't know if that's a He's a, uh, this coming off or an actual fish. It's got a really strong line on. Oh, that's still on. It's still on. And it's a bullfin, yes! Yes! Woo! Yes! You know it! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! We got it, baby! Yes! Yes, it happened! Oh, yeah, circle hook for the win. Look at this guy. Yes. Let's get this picture right away. Yes. Oh, beautiful fish. Heck yeah. Hey. Oh, and he's off. And he's off. Yeah. Oh, shoot. He's still got the hook in his 
mouth though, so I gotta go back and get him. <clears throat> Let's go, we got him open! Yes, all right. All right. There, got it. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. You know this. Yes, yes. Woo. Bowfin point, baby. Yes. There's a down the tree coming up and that's where I usually have my best luck so it's somewhere out in here so let's hope those pike are hanging by the old structure it's getting dark we got our bowfin I gotta go no pumpkin seed for me no pike for me today but we did get a bluegill we did get a black crappie we did get a bowfin and a largemouth bass. A great day. Whew, the bowfin was a huge point. That was huge. Oh, man. All right. I got to work this next week coming up, so I won't be fishing for a few days. But, man, nine after two days? Now I want to get to 40? There's a lot harder ones out there, but ooh, I'll take them for what I got right now. Yes, yes. Keep watching. Next episode's coming soon.